Children and Tobago, welcome, welcome, welcome on the weekend review. Yes, good afternoon, children and Tobago. Welcome to the Weekend Review. I'm your host, Heavy Duty, right here on the Street 919 FM. I want to thank everyone for uh, listening to me here today. Unfortunately, um, my good friend TC would not be in here with us today, right? He have uh, some an emergency that he have to deal with, so I'll be filling in here for him in the hot seat. And I want to say good afternoon to all those of you locked on and listening, no matter where in the world you may be. I want to thank you for locking on right here on the street, 919 FM. On the most open, fair, political show, where we deal with issues that are affecting us in sweet Trinidad and Tobago. I am here to educate and inform. Now, there's a reason why I play Singing Sandra's song, uh, R.I.P. to Singing Sandra, that rendition of her singing. The voices from the ghettos crying. And that song really and truly is one of my favorite songs. It, it speaks the truth. And... Some people may try to criticize it and saying that uh, what Singing Sandra said in this song is like it's like it's a it's a farce, but I live it and I understand it and I know it. So that song that song that Singing Sandra sang, Voices in the Ghetto, is actually one of my favorite songs from Singing Sandra. Actually one of my favorite calypso because it, it speaks truth. <laughs> that being said. I want to talk, I have a lot, I have a lot to say today. So, there's a, there are a lot, there's a lot to talk about today. Wow, there's so much to talk about. We just came out at Easter weekend, right? And Easter weekend was one of the bloodiest weekend for the year. Um, I don't want to quote no figures for nobody to say I don't have the right figures but I think it's something like 16 to 17 murders over the Easter weekend all over the country and I am appalled of what's going on in my country because I love my country and I don't know about you but I think we get 
our country, our citizens get desensitized to murders. And that's a sad, sad, sad thing. Murders of our citizens is a no-no. Right? And government come, government go. Nobody seems to get a handle on our crime situation in Trinidad and Tobago, especially when it comes to murders. Right? And some of the murders, mo most of us may think that the murders on them is gang violence and this and that, but right now some of the murders is, 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 is shocking. It's like women getting murdered and domestic murders and, you know, granny getting murdered and all this kind of thing. It, it's sad. It, it, it's not like, you know, it's just criminal elements getting killed. You understand? Even though that is bad too, but, you know, if people, normal people like you and I getting killed, right, getting murdered. And I saw a video on circulating on social media with, with uh, Gary Griffith where he was talking about the rise in murders from, from his tenure to now for the past eight months since, he, since there's, no, there's no police commissioner. There's an acting police commissioner now, right? And... What is when he quote the figures? I was like, wow. It was like that bad, you know. So it's high time, and see the problem is, you're not hearing no solution. My problem is, everyone will talk about the problems, but you're not hearing no solution, especially from the people who get them paid to bring solutions to the table. You cannot be getting 30 something thousand plus a month, plus perks, plus traveling, plus entertainment, plus all the perks, right? To fix problems that the country has and not do anything. It's it, it just not right. It's not, it, it, it not right. Right? And nobody seems to care. And that is my problem. We in Trinidad and Tobago are just laid back. We just passive. And we are allowing every single thing to happen to us without making a note. Why? And the few, the very few in the wilderness are crying out and saying, how they see it like myself get chastised and victimized why really it just doesn't add up so today i want to talk a little bit about crime murders because easter weekend was was it was atrocious now in later news there's a a situation going on in Diego Martin where a police officer was shot and killed. And you're seeing now the full brunt of the police service on a manhunt, well, manhunt for the guys, for the people who, who shot this so-called police constable. Right? And to me, now, I could understand a police officer being shot and killed is a sad thing. And condolences to the family of the police officer Right? I'm not condoning no type of murders. But why does this murder take precedence over all the rest of murders that happened just recently? Why is the full brunt of the police service all up top the mountain? They bring all the army, everybody searching for these people that shot the officer and killed him. Day and night, you have the acting police commissioner on the spot, on the ground, boots on, with his camouflage suit, there on the scene. Because it's a police officer. So, I'm trying to understand. So, everybody life, everybody else life that got murdered, not as important, as this particular police constable, I am saying 
that the same way they respond to this murder is the same way they're supposed to respond to every single murder that happens in Trinidad and Tobago. Same response. Police boots on the ground. 10, 15 buses, cars, go up the mountain, look for the men. And I I have no problem with you guys doing it for their fellow officer, you know, because they came in the media, and when I watched the video on social media and I watched the video on the news, they came and said, the persons and the 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 the, the, the assailants have declared war on the police service. Right? Because a constable was shot and killed. So the police service out in full blast. So when these young women die or missing, what, what happened to the police service in full blast? When people are being shot down in the streets like dogs, when grandmothers have been being killed, where's the police service and full blast? Sometimes you call the police station, gunshots in the area, they have no vehicle. But you have 10 and 15 vehicles, soldiers come out and covering the whole of the, 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 the rich plain mountain, going over to, to Karanaj, going over to Shagaramas, looking for these guys. Because I don't want justice for the fellow officer. No problem, I have no problem with that. So the family of other people who got killed and murdered, do what justice to? I don't understand. To me, what good for one, good for all? Isn't other people who got murdered, 19 people or 18 people or 17 people get killed over the Easter weekend? What going on with their murder case? What going on with the people who killed them? Why is that, why there, why is that there's not a manhunt out there for, the, for, for their killers? The level of hypocrisy in this country is a shame. And some of you may vex with me, but I am saying what good for one is good for all. Because if it's your family, or God forbid, or my family, God forbid, that have been gone down or shot, we would have wanted the same, the same response from the police service, from the TTPS. And I don't care where you're living, who you is, where you're from. This, this supposed to be fear across the board. And that is my opinion. Moving on. I want to talk a little bit about the gas prices. Now, Tuesday gone is a thing that will go down in the history of Trinidad Tobago as how oh, I want to put it I don't want to say the wrong words here on radio um hear what I was sick of pin where I go and say it. I was sick of pin riding I want to talk about the gas prices raising on Tuesday there was calls by taxi drivers associations there were calls by political parties. They were caused, caused by political activists. They were caused by people from different communities, different stakeholders, different businesses to boycott and stand up and protest for the gas increase on our citizens in Trinidad and Tobago. Here it is, you had the opposition out there on these, these walkovers with their, with their placards and their boards. You had certain taxi drivers association and maxi taxi association say, pack up your vehicles, don't come out, stand up. You have different stakeholders and different business places saying, stay home. Everybody on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, videos, stand up. We're boycotting this gas, this gas hike, because in reality, there's no proper explanation as to why, as to why we have to pay more for gas in our oil and gas economy. 
right? Well, when oil raise, the price of oil the, for barrel of oil is now a hundred and something US per barrel. When we were supposed to be making money, regardless of how low production is, it's the first time in the history of Trinidad and Tobago where oil prices gone up and we have to pay more for gas. First time. The irony of this whole thing is the match that was not matching to me, I don't know if it's matching to you, is that when gas and oil was at 40 something dollars a barrel low, the same finance minister came and said, because oil prices are low, we have to raise gas or remove the subsidy off of the gas. And he did it three times. I laugh. So now that the price is high, how come we still have to remove the subsidy again? It's not adding up. So make up your mind. It's high prices or low prices. Which one we have to pay more for gas? Because we're getting legs both ways. Two sides of the belt we're getting. Oil high, we have to pay more. Oil low, we have to pay more. So when we go stop pay more for gas? I don't understand. Somebody tell me. I don't understand. And here it is, people are trying to justify why we should be paying more for gas. Right? So I am here to educate and inform. I ain't come here for no back canal. I come to educate and inform today. Why are we comparing our self to the United States of America? Why? Because you're hearing people saying price going up in America for gas. Gas prices going up all over the world. That's what they're saying, eh? Gas prices going up all over the world. That is why. It's because of the pandemic. Because of the war in the Ukraine. Right? So we have to pay more here for gas too. That was never a problem to us in Trinidad and Tobago. Never. Because just like Libya, just like Bahrain, just like Qatar, just like Saudi Arabia, just like the Congo, just like these other countries, that is oil and gas, just like Venezuela, that is oil-based economies. The more oil raise and gas raise, the better for us. So, the finance minister needs to come out and tell people the truth. Yeah, come out and tell people the truth. Tell us, tell us the truth now, because this math's not matching. So, why is we comparing ourselves to America and saying, well, the price in America, you know what's the price? Well, the type of gas in America, $4 for something US or three something US at least we're not paying that that same amount that the Americans pay three dollars and something US per liter which is a lot because when you check it that's about twenty something dollars TT probably let me get the right price eh I think in the U.S. is is, is about it's about about two dollars and something for the for the gas, right? Let me check the right price. I will check it just now, but I'm talking here by myself. So it's more. It's more than we paid in Trinidad. Probably about twice or three times the amount. So we have to glad in Trinidad that we're not paying the same price as the U.S. We, at least we still have a little subsidy. We're paying four dollars and something or five dollars and something now, super and premium. However, I want to tell people who comparing our money, well, how much we're paying for gas in TNT to how much you're paying for gas in the U.S. to stop. Don't compare. Matter of fact. Don't compare us to the United States of America for nothing. Okay? Do not do that. Stop it. You're songing 
like you don't have no information and you don't do no research. So the people, all the people, but they will, uh, they have to pay so much in America that we, we are, stop it, stop, stop, stop doing that. And I want to tell you why. The minimum wage in Trinidad and Tobago is about $17. Give or take. The minimum wage in America, in the most dilapidated states in America that have the lowest minimum wage, is about $7 US. If you check $7 US and you multiply by six, that is almost $50. If you do the breakdown from t into TNT currency. So if you have seven dollars US an hour, it's about forty something dollars, forty seven, forty eight, if you six, six, fifty, seven dollars, something wrongly. Right? We work for seventeen dollars an hour here. So if a man working for seven dollars US in America, he could afford to put three dollars gas in the vehicle. Polita. Or two dollars gas per liter in the vehicle. Can you work in for seven dollars an hour? We work in for seventeen dollars an hour, right? You understand? A day pay for a man in America, right? We had to work four days to make up to he money. To he one day. Understand it? Eh? A Trinidadian had to work four days. To get one day pay for a man in America. So don't come here. On top of that, food prices in America cheaper than here. And then they have they have coupons and stamp and they have a proper welfare system. You understand? That helps the poor people with giving them welfare and grants and all these things over there. Right? On top of that. America have more options, right? So if you're driving a gas vehicle and gas going up, you can go and sell a gas vehicle or trade in your gas vehicle and get a, 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 a hybrid or electric vehicle in America. We don't have to put no gas. We don't have that option here. America have all these opportunities that if somebody can no longer afford to put gas, they can sell a gas vehicle and get and get a, a, a electric vehicle or a hybrid vehicle without the putting less gas. You understand? They have all them options there. So stop comparing, please. Stop it. Stop it. Because we in this country don't understand. We just only want to pick out who we want to compare. Pick out, pick out, pick out, pick out. And but well, America and America and America. We are working for one of the, for our country, we have oil and gas and money, our minimum wage is like crap. You have to walk a whole hour to buy bread. Think about it. And all they want to talk about Trinidad nice and Trinidad this, and when we have people coming out on, on, on platforms and speaking that our country is going in a, in a, in a, it's, it's heading down to, Hell in a gasoline soap paper basket because we are mismanaging our, our, our resources and mismanaging our money. We want to cost people for telling us the truth. So the Guyanese president or former president come out and say to you that is, is telling us people don't end up like Trinidad. You should have an example. We don't want to end up like Trinidad and we vex. The former representative who went up for Miss Universe or Miss World or whatever she went up for went and talked and said what things are going on in Trinidad, Olive X. She, she's she, all a cost she. So nobody must tell the truth. So I want to order the demo. Trinidad is such a wonderful place. Nothing going wrong in Trinidad. You understand? Food cheap. Roads good. We get 24 hour supply of water. We get cheap electricity. We get we get we get cheap gas. We could afford to marry with family. Nobody is struggling. Everybody happy go lucky in Trinidad. Nobody had no problem. We get good salary. Everything nice. Crime on the low. Nobody getting killed. No murders. No kidnapping. You understand? 
or they can really tell me what's going on in Trinidad. Anyway, the lines are open. The number to call is 466-5391. And they can call me on WhatsApp 7711791. That's the WhatsApp number 7711791. I'm going to do open up the lines. And the question today, is Trinidad really a nice, good, happy place to live in right now? You understand? Because I don't know if someone is not living here. I don't know where they live in. You understand? But to me, this is horrible. Miss you on the phone lines. Caller. Heavy, good afternoon. Good afternoon, my brother. Heavy, and I'm listening to you. You know, you're opening there talking about stop comparing Trinidad and Tobago to the U.S., right? Yeah. And Heavy had us listen sometime in the week. And I will tell you something. I said that sick people that living in, in America, Trinbagonians, old heads, just call and lie so much hmm. to people in Trinidad and Tobago. And I will tell you something. How much you just pay to fully tank heavy? You have a car. Right? How much you just pay to fully tank? I used to right pay, right pay $280. Now I'm paying $340 something. Dollars. And, you, and how much cylinders does your car have? The engine. Four, four cylinder. Four cylinders. Four cylinder. Yeah. I have a six cylinder van. Mm -hmm. Dutch caravan. They claim that gas so high in the US. When gas was cheap the other day to something, I was paying thirty eight to thirty two dollars to fill my tank. Today I'm paying fifty five dollars to fill my tank. Right. Check fifty five US and the amount you just call and see it's the same amount of money I am paying for a country that have oil. Pay the same money like me. You paying heavy. You know what? Wait, 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 wait. So Brooklyn, really, really, how much for the tank gas in, China, in, in the US? Heavy right now, we're paying like, well, it just dropped the other day. So right now, we're paying like 380 something. Some gas station, we're paying about, about some places like 390, some place 380, some, some places 375. All right, right let, me just say, let me just say $3.50 for overall. Right. Right. No, three, she said 375. 375 right now, some gas station, you're going broke in here. And that's okay. in Brooklyn, right? Right. All right. So, and how much you fill your tank? My, I just pay like fifty five dollars, and my tank is a bigger tank than where you fill in. Okay. You tell him you pay three forty. I adapt that. But that I'm not saying I did up, bro. You create that. But I, but I telling you, you say you just pay in three forty TT. Yeah, three forty TT. I just pay. I just pay. $55 US right now to fill my tank. All right. 55 US. I'm multiplying it by seven. No, nah, by six. By six, by US. six. All right. All right. By six. That is, that is 300. Let me just say six. We know it's more than six. Yeah. In the money. That, that 300. What can I charge that 30? Oh, God. I was telling you, you paying more money to fill a car than I paying for a van. And, and, they, and they're telling people right through in the week. That America in America gas so high. Wait, 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 wait. Brooklyn, are they, you paying less than me? But I was telling you, you hear what I'm saying? I could show you a gas. You see, we have full my tank heavy. These people just call and talk so much nonsense because they're sick of fans. Wow. Right, they're living over here. And I'm telling you, if I go and fill my tank by the gas station right now, I pay 55 US dollars to fill my tank with gas. And they claim that because they want gas so high. Gas. So you trying to tell me we pay more, more for gas in Trinidad than in the US? Let me tell you something when the when the water just start uh -huh. it went up to about to about 450 some places you know gas went up to four but right here, when all you raising gas gas dropping back here you know what i'm telling you gas dropping back here right now i tell you we've been like some places 375 to 380 some places 390 for, 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 for the gas so so at the end of the day heavy people could call the radio station and talk how much nonsense as you was talking about the minimum wage, the minimum wage in, in, in New York right now is seven, is a, uh, sorry, $15 an hour. $15 then? $15 an hour is the minimum wage in New York $15 right now. US. Let me convert that. Let me convert that Brooklyn. Just so, don't go away. 15 multiplied by six. That's $90 an hour, TT. Right, right. But they want to compare what well, you working for down there to put America. We working for $17 an hour. Heavy, heavy. We tell you something. You see that six or seven hundred seat that people working ten days. Um, you are people working oh, ten course. days for. You see that 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 seven hundred whatever you are people working for ten days for. 
that's that's when they check it out if they check a us hundred seven to one that's only a hundred us you working for seven for ten days for but then you have to wait another two weeks before to, you can get a pay kind of mad thing, boy. yeah we, that we were going through here, I have people in China condoning that. Battery and all of them say that like good. Battery say that like good living. They say if you can't, <laughs> if you can't, you're, you're not supposed to buy, no buy. Take what you get. And I just hear about, he tell Aisha, well, you let Brooklyn and them call your show. And, and Battery don't contribute nothing. Not when an Iowa judge have the Iowa TV thing, you never see Battery call the radio station and say pay nothing to contribute to, to 91.9. But he could tell people do let certain people call you the battery and them is sick people but no need come out of the rumor he never come america yet and he always talking about american company Bro- and america Bro- Brooklyn, and that. I, I don't want you i don't want you beyond battery i want we talk the, no, the i want we talk I'm numbers scared. here because i want to educate the people because i like to compare to america they like yeah, to compare like to, to America. Right They're saying gas prices going up in America, so we have to pay more here. And here it is, yeah, you are now telling me that we are paying more here for gas than in America. Heavy, and let me tell you one more thing. When the gas had went up, as when it was that, you know what they did here? They said that we're not, they're not charging no tax on the gas, no extra tax on the gas station. So we were just paying the price that the gas was. Yeah, right. it wasn't. They didn't have to pay the extra tax. They take the tax off because the gas went up over four dollars. But as I said, the gas dropped back now, eh? You understand? But they ain't telling you that when they're talking in the week. They ain't telling people that in America the gas dropped back down now. They ain't telling you that eh? they keep saying the gas high and people side phone and gas on people can't answer that dumb nonsense they seen on social media with people faking videos so to, to for it to go live and they come in to talk on national radio to tell people in Trinidad and Tobago that going on in America. Wow. And they don't know nothing about here. Every let me leave it for somebody else to call. Thank Just you, Brooklyn. Thank you, you very much. Talk. When they, when they call in the weekend, can't talk that talk, they're telling you about your talking shoppiness. And I'm telling you facts, I could show you receipt, proof, and evidence. I could go back to the gas station and show the gas station and everything in the area, live on video. Hmm. Have you have a good... All right, Brooklyn, thank you. Wow. <laughs> wow. The number to call is 771 That's the WhatsApp number, and the 466 that's who's on the line. Hello? Mr. Heavy? Yes, brother. You see, this country, this country is Trinidad and United States. So we had to compare everything in this country to the United States. We living in Trinidad. We getting paid Trinidad money. Mm-hmm. People living in the States getting paid with the U.S. money. Right? Where we working here for con- let me let me let me see what we working for here. We dollar. Because dollar in every country is a dollar in the country. Yes, and you can't put we dollar to American dollar. We money if gas drop, gas is up all over the, the state. <coughs> Canada. And you see sign boarding gas is and gas drop from this to this, this to this. You ever see that in Trinidad? Never. <laughs> Matter of fact, I never see gas go down in Trinidad. So then what you're telling me, that wheresoever Rowley and Embot are bringing gas from, the gas price don't drop there at all. Hmm. Yes, <laughs> true, true. That gas price, right now, we, we money paying for gas. We don't know where the hell the gas coming from. Rowley stand up or Embot stand up in the parliament and say, we the use one billion liter of gas in this country per year. Last flat, you are like two point something billion liter of gas. Where the next one? Where the next one point something billion liter of gas going? Oh, so heavy? I don't know. The Madison Madison at all. <coughs> if we burn in one point something, or let me say one point something billion liter of gas here for the year, and you bring in two point something billion liter of gas, where the next billion and ten gas going? Are not going to the, the, the planes and them or the, or the boat and them are going to be going, you know? Well, I don't know where it's going, but you have to be going somewhere. Hmm. Yes, and so we pay for gas and we sell in gas and that money going to somebody's pocket. And next thing again, this Baratari man, where they say them fellas living in the basement and all kind of thing, right? <laughs> you know, years now. He truck break and he can't buy a part. Yeah, right. All right, all right, I don't want to go personal yeah. nobody attack. We don't attack yeah, people on this show. Nah, don't, don't attack nobody right. on this show. Right? Again, you always come on. 
All right. So the, you come on again. We have to go for a break. Come on back in the next hour. Yeah, I don't like at, I don't want nobody call to attack nobody on my show. Do that for the evening show Monday to Friday. Yeah, so we're going for a break. We have 33 seconds before the break, so I want you guys uh, we'll be back here. Imagine that we compare into America, but the maths could never match. You had to work seventeen dollars an hour in Trinidad. And in your in, in New York, it's ninety dollars TT an hour. Wow. Okay, people, we'll be back. Keep a lock right here on the street, 919 FM. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street, 919 FM. You can see live interviews and performances from some of our very own local superstars. Right here on the street, 919 FM. Every Friday, it's all about Firewood Soccer Fridays. With MC, you can select the country from 6 straight to 9 p.m. Blazing all the latest and past soca hits. So remember, make it a line, make it a day, rock and come in, you know. It's all about Fire Moon Soca Fridays on the Street 919 FM. You don't know. Roger Garraway and his community of creatives present The Royal Exhibit, a three-day art exhibition, Wednesday, April 27th to Friday, April 29th. We Sparks the Band, daily start time, 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Under the auspices of the MP for St. Anne's East, Dr. Nyan Gaspidal. The greatest and finest pieces ever witnessed by local artists in Trinidad and Tobago will be on display for purchase. Come to this wonderful event and walk away owning a masterpiece that can be displayed in your home or passed down for generations to come. Roger Garraway has now made his mark on the international market, breaking barriers and setting the standard high. He and his group of friends will wow you with their out-of-this-world pieces. This event cannot be missed. You can also enjoy the opportunity to browse and purchase fantastic one-of-a-kind handmade art and craft pieces created by local designers from the community. Special guest appearances by Patrice Roberts, Michael Edwards and Friends, Iwa George, Roxanne Lane, Crazy, and Joey Rivers and his band. Food and drinks on sale. Secured parking for all vehicles and all COVID-19 protocols will be observed. Special thank you to the Member of Parliament for St. Anne's East, Dr. Nyan Gaspidon. 
Greetings and blessing in the name of our wonderful Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I'm Valentine Garcia. And I'm Nikki Garcia. And we would like to invite you to listen to the final hour broadcast every Monday from 12 midnight to 5 in the morning on the street, 919 FM Radio. Hear my mom, Pastor Helen Garcia, and myself, Pastor Valentine Garcia Jr., preach the word of God to the elderly, youth, and children. We can be contacted at 629-0113 or 623-8444. Please be sure to tune in and prepare to be blessed. my life, I lit on the altar. If you're experiencing pain, constipation, headaches, poor blood circulation, high or low blood pressure, diabetes, cancer, swollen or darkened feet, come visit us at Health and Wealth Lifestyle, located at 73 Eastern Main Road, Barataria, opposite Eastern Credit Union. We at Health and Wealth Lifestyle offer a wide range of services. Come and experience our new 3D analyzer, which allows you to have a look inside your body. We also provide live blood analysis, iridology, ionic foot, detox with foot soap and foot massage, aqua therapy, full body massage and organic supplements on sale such as nano silver, nano zinc, body light, cold press sesame oil and more. Health and Wealth Lifestyle located at number 73 Eastern Main Road, Barataria, opposite Eastern Credit Union. For more information call 275-8359 or 288-1108. Join Nicole Hub for Health and Wealth Lifestyle every Monday from 9.05 a.m. to 9.55 a.m. right here on the street, 919 FM. Hey guys, it's Aisha Wells here. Listen up. If you're considering selling or renting your house in Trinidad and Tobago, then call... The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of this street, 919 FM. This is the voice of Tuesday, Seventh-day Adventist. We are preaching emergency alert broadcast, which is from the Tuesday, Seventh-day Adventist Church. We will be featuring voices of brethren from different parts of the world, preaching the gospel, preaching prophecy as it relates to current events and the ending of the world. Listen to us on 91.9 FM every Sunday from 9.15 to 9.45 AM on Sundays. May God bless you as you learn the truth. In Jesus' name, amen. Turn your lights down low and listen to the master's radio get in touch with god turn your radio are invited to join pastors Morris and Agnes Johnson of the Church of the Firstborn Assembly Miracle Center located at number 399 Eastern Main Road Guaico in Sangri Grandi for the old time gospel our family radio ministry every Sunday from 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. check out the children's hour worship ministry of the word and the family forum every Tuesday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. the law and you and every Friday evening from 9 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. All Night Prayer Live on the street, 919 FM. Designed with you in mind. This program deals with today's issues from a biblical perspective. You will also be given the opportunity to call in and interact with us. Micah 6.8 says, He hath showed thee, O man, what is good and what doeth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy and walk humbly with thy God. Your financial support through the First Citizens Bank will be greatly appreciated. Account number 795222. For further information, call 753-1113 or email us at church668hope at gmail.com. Share the line. Share the line. Mystery 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line.
Live. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the live. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the live. The Street 919 FM. Yes, we are back, we are back, we are back. <clears throat> we are back in our second hour right here on the Street 919 FM for the weekend review with your Shuddy Heavy Duty. I'm here. Um, of course, TC is not here with me this afternoon. So we're still taking your phone calls. Once again, the number to call 7711791 or you can call 4665391. Now, um, Brooklyn call and give me some, uh, uh, give us a little insight of how much he pays for gas in the U.S. and also the minimum wage in 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 New York, which is about fourteen dollars, or I think he said, yeah, I think it's fourteen dollars. He said, I don't know. And here it is. I was comparing. You know, someone in Trinidad and Tobago working for seventeen dollars, or I have to work at least five days. Five days you have to work in order to make the same amount of money that that person in New York working for in one day. Actually, five days and two hours. I'm talking about an eight-hour work week, like nine to five. You understand? Eight to four. Five days you have to work to make up for one day. If you work, if you work one day in America, Right? You have to work five days in trade to make up that one day in America because somebody working for that $14 US in America is actually making 720 TT per day. And I check it at 61. Eh? I know it's more than that. You understand? In Trinidad, you have to work five days for minimum wage in order to get that same money. That's so sad. We're going to the phone lines, the number to call 7711791. That's 7711791. Or you can call 466-5391. Let's see who's on the phone lines. Uh, good afternoon. Hello? Hello? Yeah, coming in real soft. Yeah, how are you going, boy? I'm okay. Tell me something. Well, last week we had a nice little conversation. I don't say you're not boy. I hear you say something at the beginning of the program, but we can review, right? Mm-hmm. Tell me something now, boy. How was pushed back for? I had to make my point, you know. But I'm asking you. How was pushed back for? Uh, I didn't know how was pushed back for because that same time for pushed back for, we was here on the radio. I was here on the radio when they called us last week. Remember, we was here? Yeah, I, do, I don't know the numbers. I didn't see. No, no, no. Forget the numbers. You went? No, I couldn't I couldn't go because I was on the radio. At the time when push back for was going on, I was on the radio. Oh, you didn't leave 2 o'clock? No, we left about after 3 Okay, okay, because what happened, you know, we talk about 20,000, 60,000. We had a real conversation. Okay. But the feedback I was getting from Mr. Amar on 104.7 during this week gone, it seems as though like the, the, the tune out wasn't too nice, but. Oh. Okay. What? Because I listen and I ain't get nothing composite for me. From 104.7 in the whole week, and he sounded like he annoyed, and he, like he, he didn't. It, it gave me the impression that he didn't like the tone out, right? Mm -hmm. so, but that aside, you gotta pick up like like what he expected. Like he didn't get that. I using him, eh? Because you know he was promoting it most of the oh, right through the week, and um, that was sad. But you remember, I told you. 
I say, maybe some of the people that was carded to talk because they don't want to hear them. You remember I tell you that? Okay. Yeah, but let me leave that. We're talking about the, 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 the gas and thing, right? Mm-hmm. Let me ask you a question. How long in this country? Oh, let me get something straight with you. As I tell you, the week before last week, I know the lady 41, eh? Yeah. I tell you that. Yeah. I remember you telling me that. As far as I'm concerned, we need, we have to pray the Lord for new leadership. Let me put it that way. Right? Yeah. So we, we need. How long was gas being subsidized in Trinidad? As long as you know. How long? Well, it's, uh, it was subsidized from 1978. All right, okay. How long was cooking gas, LPG, being subsidized in Trinidad? Um, no, I don't have a, I don't have a, I don't have a figure. I'm going to put it this way. I'm going to put it this way, right? Cooking gas is being subsidized. You know that? Yeah. You know, Mr. Mr. Imbot say, and I like to call them by the name, you know. I do like to call them by the first name. Because I didn't grow so. I grew different. Mr. Imbot is saying, he ain't touch LPG yet. You hear that? Yes. You make sure you see it, eh? Mm hmm. Right now, that has been subsidized. It's 21. That's the basic price. I do talk about who. Then people drop it and all of that. Me business for that. The basic price is 21. You know that, right? Right. Cal, Caribbean airline is being subsidized. You know that? Yeah. To go to Tobago, I think our ticket is 250. Around all right. I, I'm not sure. I haven't been to Tobago, Tobago in a while on the plane. Put it this way. Mm -hmm. Cal is being subsidized, right? Right. Washa is being subsidized. You agree? Mm. You want to answer that it's subsidized? Uh, you know? You know that? All right. First thing first. You know no, why... Let me finish. You'll get a chance. Let me finish. No, no. I just want to know if you know why it's subsidy. You know why it's happening. You know what that means, yes, right? I know. I know why it's Okay, I, go I ahead. Okay, go ahead. And what I didn't know, the Prime Minister explained it on Tuesday night. And I get more information as to what is a subsidy. Okay? Mm -hmm. That was explained to me. Ian Tech. Is being subsidized. You agree? Yeah. yeah. So we have Tiantec, Wasa, Cal, the Fast Ferry, I forget that, and we have the LPG gas. I just name a few. I ain't talking nothing about no grant and thing. Here. And then we have gas that was subsidized since 1976, like what you say. 78. 78. Okay, well, wherever. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time we used to get gas. Down in Guaya, we used to get gas coming straight to Wiso for free. You would know that maybe a little younger. You know that? Yeah, I, huh? I, I, I wait if it to get to a point so I can respond. So. The, point, the point I am making is mm -hmm. here's the point I get to that. You see the subsidies that we enjoy right now? Mm -hmm. All is going to be removed. Why? Right? All is going to be removed. Because the, the authorities mm -hmm. cannot go down the road subsidizing everything and still keeping this country afloat. It will be a disaster. All right. And I tell you this. Remember, remember what we seen here today? No, I was sick up and ready. Sick up and ready. Because leave you later talk. I want you on, I want, and I want, because I here to educate and inform, right? Uh -huh. Where the money is coming from for them to pay the subsidies and everything in our country, where is that money where coming have, from? You have the NGC. You mm -hmm. have, we, we, we have, but we don't have oil and gas. I don't, I don't consider we. No, we have no, you, you have to say we have oil and gas because you talk from 1978 to now. So we had oil and yeah, gas all the time. So we had to say, we had to, yeah, to, it's only now yeah. the same we don't have oil and gas. So we yeah. had, to, had to go along the same line as going. When you, when you, when you talking about, when we used to, when we used to have 200 and something thousand barrels a day, how much we have now? No, I don't want to, we to change the topic, I have something, I want to inform you and educate you. 
Gaza, I ask the question, where do you think they're getting that money from? Which money? The money to pay the subsidies. Well, you have, we have a little oil and gas still. We collect no, that. I ain't talking about no, I'm talking about for all the years. I'm talking about Wasan, and Tech, and, and LPG, because, and all the gas. Go ahead. Yes, mm -hmm. Because we was in a better place at that time with our oil and gas. But you're saying, answer the question, where do you think they're getting the money from? understand what you're asking me. Alright, let me change the question. Who money it is that they're using to pay for the subsidies? They're using smart taxpayers' money. Correct. So if right. I'm a taxpayer and you're a taxpayer and you, 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 they're using our money to pay subsidies for us to benefit, you have a problem with that? No, 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 no. Okay, I, so then I, why we should why why we should blame ourselves for getting subsidy and saying we don't we do we, 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 we the government can't pay them subsidy again because it go if, if they continue that way you said it right we, 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 it will be a disaster the reason the reason why it's a disaster is because they are mismanaging our taxpaying money all right that is why i told you that is why i told you two weeks ago and i'm glad you said that right that is what i told you two weeks ago forget the present 41 and Napoleon. I, I totally yeah. agree with you with that because as long right. as we go down this mismanagement of our our resources and our money for us, right? right. And we, the taking one. Uh -huh. All right. Let me change it. We ain't changing. I like where you went you with know, the subsidy. You know, you know what I like with you? Mm -hmm. you don't understand me, good, I mean. good. You I like you too, you know, because I like what you say we had to get rid of the whole 41. I agree with you. Right. Now here what happened. This is between me and you now. Mm -hmm. Who I use now, I know that the Almighty will provide a leader, right? A proper leader for us. Long as time permit. I am asking you now, who on the present... No, we, can, we eliminate the 41, eh? We're not dealing with them. Mm -hmm. Who on the present landscape, you as an individual, I don't believe the rest of people who go in and call. Here what I going to do for you, right? I don't want to change the topic because if we if I say who I want, who I, who I want, is that going to change? Everybody going to call in after to talk about that, right? Is that simple thing? No, no. Who are you seeing on the horizon? I wouldn't say it no. You know why? Because that's going to be a whole topic for next week. Right, okay. Good. Right, so let me talk about that next week, Saturday when I come. We will deal with this, right? But we agree, but we agree that we need we need new governance. Talk, All right, thank you, brother. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wow, my tongue done. All right, yeah. I'm gonna go on the line here now. Caller. Good evening to you, Good evening to you, my brother. Um, I, I don't know if it's a video as yet. Now, um, can you come along to the video? It have a little obscenity, so I can't play. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I will listen to it over, and I really can't play. It have a little obscenity oh, in the video. Oh, yeah. Is it, is it, is it, I, I really hear the obscene. Yeah. But the young fella making a very, yeah, very good point. Yeah, you're making a very point. good point, yeah. Yeah, very good point. But, I mean, this country is feeling the pain, Right? Pain the pain because there's people out there heavy willing to destroy this country for the party, hmm. for the government. Heavy today, what we are facing here at the pump is it is not the pain to blame it, but it is the UNC supporters and the PLM supporters. Hmm. These are the two people. Isn't it the, the supporters of the UNC and the supporters of the PNM? These is the people who have us in this pressure today. I said that, you know. I said them is everything we're wrong with the country. Them, them is everything. Is it the fans? Is it the UNC and they are proud? Hmm. And the PNM and they are dead? Is the most dangerous people you, you in our see, country. You see that because, because I love the party more than I love the people, I more than I love the party more than I love the children. And the PNM is the problem and UNC is not the solution. Mm -hmm. PNM is the problem and UNC is not the solution. Effie, it is a plan. 
is a plan to keep the people of this country in bondage. Okay. And they have the mobs on the both two sides heavy coming out. Because every ownership plane, they don't be a call to fight this war. They don't be a call to fight this war. You have to take this war by by the the the, 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 the bullet, the political bullet, and give it it. Because it cannot it's, it seems today in this country heavy. Mm-hmm. Why you see food prices going up? The four hundred and something thousand people who vote for the PNM have no problem wow. about the food prices going up. <laughs> no, 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 no problem. No problem. Every the four hundred and something people who vote for the PNM have no problem that we have to pay more to the pipe because uh, you know why? I'm a PNM. I'm a PNM and I'm dead. I'm, I support the black man. And heavy, don't, don't, don't doubt it. If Kamala Prasad be suffer, come in power tomorrow and she'll leave the prices just so. The 300 plus people who, who is loyalty to the UNC, they ain't going to say nothing. So heavy, where it leaves me and you, who trying to be independent? Yeah. Who trying to come with a point of view to uplift our country, Correct. to push our country? They will throw us in the gutter. They will make it, the, 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 the lions eat us. Because they two of them, because once one, once both of them stay there, once another. Can you say I understand what you're saying? No, we're really and, saying and is that anytime a political party in power, right, the supporters support every single wrong thing they do. Wrong. The, 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 they don't even say, well, again. they don't even say, well, they, I, I like them, but they should not do that. They wouldn't even stand yeah. up and say they're wrong. Yeah, right? they're wrong. Right? But they, they, they want to compare, oh, well, you see they do this when they was in power, or PNM, they do this when they was in power. And when, they, when the tables turn on, the next party come in power, this, the next party do supporters doing the same thing. And why is two of them doing back and forth? The children and Tobago going down to hell going down, going in, down in a there. gasoline soap and paper basket and two of them took fighting. Come this one, and now come to defend the wrongdoing. Because yeah, see, right too. They, they, they're coming out to defend the wrongdoing, eh? Yes, they're defending they're the wrongdoing. Defend the corruption, eh? They're defending to every say, single thing. They may see nothing wrong with Trinidad. dad. To say, and come not see last five years, so we could teach too. Yeah, yeah, eh? yeah. But have you as a close? Every last night I went in a certain location because the information was coming to me heavy. I couldn't be seen around a certain individual. Heavy PNM and UNC join up heavy to try to tie for me off of the airwave. And heavy without opening any games at all. I want to say that again. Heavy PNM and UNC because heavy I am. They want me to put a party line. Right. They want things to say is a UNC mm-hmm. or is a PNM. Mm-hmm. And how things is saying today, the independent and I lash the both two political party. This week here I might lash the UNC very hard. Next week I might lash the PNM very hard, and the PNM supporters do not like it. Also, the U.S. supporters join like it. So they join up, they, they join up with, with people who I know, people who I grew up with, talk show hosts. Every, and I hear plenty money parts. Every, because, and I could tell you, every, yeah? and when, every, I don't call for fame. King Z, King Z, King Z, I don't want to get into that thing with you and them. No, you no, 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 I'm going now, I'm going now. And this artist is that tell you, let King Z friends, I'm going now, heavy, right? right? Heavy, I don't need fame. Right, heavy, I don't see, right? Heavy, there a certain formal minister, pay gladiator, so much I'm waiting to come after me, right? To, to write an article about me at that time, heavy, because I was asking okay. questions okay. about a certain minister, and that minister and that talk show host called Gladiator, without calling anybody names, I will call him names, but they my friend. And, and he tell me, because he put my name on Facebook, 
and write back on my name. And when I call him, he tell me who pay him and who gave me money. And he gave All me right. some money too. Listen to me. He gave me some money too. Listen to me, Epi. Today, today, because people call me and people send things there and not here, you know, see what's going on. So I want to tell the people last night I went in a certain location with certain high profile people in the country where they tell me, Epi, that big money pass. Between certain individuals, UNC supporters and the Kenyan supporters, high hierarchy talk show within this country to do not to style for Kingsley because Kingsley not picking, not picking a party side. But I want to tell them something. Or as a kid, me, because I am saying this, you know, PNM is the problem and the UNC is not the solution for this country. Both of them have to go and have to go now. Thank you very much. All right, all right. Okay, Kingsley. All right. So the number to call uh seven seven one one seven nine one and four six six five three nine one. Right? Those are the numbers to call. Right here on the street nine one nine FM. I I I just want to um digress a little bit about what the what the guy was talking about. Right? Anyway, again I call. Cola. Good afternoon, TC. Ah, TC is not here. Mami, TC is not here. Well, do matter. Do matter. It's somewhere. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere it is. All right. I don't hear things. Who are talking about talking things? I don't want to be in them kind of status. And go back in. When Kamala is telling you, you're holding no bag again. He may come and need to come on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy? Independent. You independent. Nobody affects you with you. Nobody affects you. Nobody supports you. They want the vote when it can come. Nobody affects you with you. If you are the vote for who? You want him. You are the boy in the boat. You want him for who you want. Nobody has to break you for that. I mean, I'm coming for vote and vote and vote. You have nobody telling you nothing. Look, look, Boston, you come out and tell you kind of thing about PNM people in Tobago. But he's still coming here. He's still coming here to, to, to look for it. I don't know what people in Tobago. But I'm the same to me. For, for 15 seats they're getting in Tobago. You find PNM is good, PNM is PNM is You get 15 seats. And there's still like 50 people, 20 people in Tobago. Good. So where we want, where we really want, where we really want in Trinidad and Tobago, uh, price going up this place. Go on grocery, go on. We are not no grocery. We are no grocery. It's time for Africa people to get up, get a grocery or get something, the man. Plant some food or something. The only work in each other, we are land. We get in land, we get in people. The way when you land, you so distribute. Nobody in the land. Nobody in the land. Pay a little money, a little money. The rest is the land tax. If we benefit, we buy a piece of land. And we have it for our children. If we open a grocery, everybody talking. If we open a grocery, we have a supermarket, something, man. It's time for black people to get up. And not saying this one, this one is doing that, and that one is doing that. Uh, we have to do for ourselves. All right, Tanti, thank you. We have you. to do for ourselves. We should have a grocery. Black people so long that we have a tree of a grocery. When you get in line, we sell it out. All right. All right, Tanti, all right. Black people, we sell it out. All right, thank you. You see the other side, get land, get so. You get to pay for land. They, uh, they could talk now. They get free land. The free land, they get in and take all the land. All right, Tanti. We have to get land and, and walk into Man, have a blessing. Bye-bye. All right, Mommy. All right. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, Lord. I go like Mommy. Um, Mommy, I don't know who gave you vex, eh? But I don't think you understand this thing, you know. This thing is serious, eh? You see, the time for people that get grocery and, and, and they have land and they sell land, and I don't know where you get any information from me. I'm not just so you can go to my grocery. Eh? All right. I just say, you know. Cola. 
Cola. Hello? I think I'm not cold there. Hello? Cola. Okay, people give me a minute and I get something. I get my minute. All right, caller. Hello? Somehow I ain't getting it, but wow. Okay. Again, you know. Hello? Yes, yes. Right. I call back. Yeah. I call back to correct you on it. Not fourteen, it's fifteen dollars I tell you is the minimum wage. Fifteen dollars. That is over a uh, uh, hundred fifty dollars, I believe, right now, if you check it. You understand? Fifteen US. I'm sure you're probably getting like a hundred or over a hundred fifty dollars. So it's not fourteen, it's fifteen dollars. Right? It's fifteen dollars an hour. Yes. And uh, and, and, and that's and, a, that's in New York. That's in New York, right? Yes, that's $15. So different states have different minimum wage? Well, different places you go, like in Long Island, I believe Long Island is either $13 or something. Mm -hmm. hour, but I hear you say the lowest is $7. Now, I don't think nowhere in, the, in, in America have a minimum wage of $7. Uh, no, I, I, I'm going based on what I, I saw the information. So certain states like like down maybe New Orleans or somewhere down in the, I, in the south. I don't think it's so low. It don't really think it's so low? Today. No, 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 no. That's probably a long, long time. You know, that, not today, not today. I don't think so. You could Google it and so, see, not today. So, but Brooklyn, $15 multiplied by 6 is, is, is $90. Right. right? So, $90 an hour, let me say, multiply by 8 or 8 hour work week, that I would work day 720 TT. Right? right? So, one day work in America is 720 TT. That is almost close to how much a, a fortnight are you a, a CPAP worker working for? That's what, that's what I've been saying. So a CPAP worker had to work a whole fortnight to get one day pay if you work in America for one day at a minimum wage. That is and totally it's unfair. Call, it's that people will call and say, that is a good thing for them people because that is, that is the level that education they have in order to be working. It, it have nothing to do with, edu it have to do with education. Thing. That what I'm saying is people will call and say these things and say because they're not educated enough, that is why they have to work day. I'm, I'm just saying what people will call and say, right? At the end of the day, heavy, what I'm saying is, right, look at, for instance, my, as I tell you, I was talking about the gas. It's 16 gallon to fill my vehicle. 16 gallon by, by, by 380, that is like 60 US dollars, right? I don't know how much gallon to fill your car, probably less, or your tank would be smaller. Right. Right? But a 16 gallon to full my own. I check that by 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 380. That is 60 US dollars, right? Mm -hmm. And you telling me 340 to full a smaller tank, and you have a car which is a, a smaller engine. Yeah. And it's all, and it's, it's the same price. So now what I'm saying is, where is the subsidy that was well, taken off for all it? But this is what I say when we subsidize. Yes. <laughs> I don't <laughs> understand. <laughs> where the but, so but people don't understand these. You see the fine print? They don't read the fine print because people do not call and people will call and talk all kind of thing. But have you always paying almost the same or more money than we today? For wow. Gas and, and that is crazy. And they say that oh, they only get an assistance from the government. Yeah, they and they still feel they still say that we're subsidizing. And how a man even call and a man call and say about taxi drivers. 
will drive with a whole tank, hold there and make money and raising the fee and all kind of thing. You see, they always watch what other people doing and they're studying what the people who are in charge of the country do. Bro- Brooklyn, the Brooklyn, the as I you try understand? to explain to people, right? The subsidy that they're paying, the money that they're paying for subsidy and all these things that we're subsidizing in our country, who money it is? What is coming from the taxpayers? It's not in birth nor rowdy money. It's our money, money. right? And, and when the, if they take our money to subsidize gas so we to use, right, that is we getting back something from our taxpaying dollars. How, how could... They gas and all. They're still paying the same thing like me today. That's correct. So which means what are doing with tax money so that you want to keep with tax money and him give we back nothing on it? Heavy, you know what is destroying the government and them with the lies? Social media and technology. Correct. You see, before back in the days, yeah. they didn't have this so that people could share information. Ah. They used to say anything to the people on our platform and the people run with that. That's yes. all they could know. Yes. But today, you could get information directly from the U.S. or any way they talk about and find out that these people are lying. Correct. And that is destroying them. Correct. That is exposing them. They can no that. longer say it's so and it's so. You understand? And, pe- and people just get upset for that. People just get mad for that. And I want to say our next thing, Heavy. People talking about, oh, we, people in the country have to pay land tax to help the country to make things better. Hmm. What about all the resources that we had that was making money for the country? Right? With, with, it, with, with, with these resources, with, with, the with, teeth are we supposed to be benefiting today from that. Right? But I go always tell people, when Chambers came in there, and the whole of the whole country said Chambers was done. See, it was not he was done. See, because he carried on right. It's Chambers done. See, that Eric went with all the money <laughs> and it continued to be paid. Correct. And I got to happy. If you want proof of that, I just always say, play the maestro songs. To sow with love. With love, yeah. And they go here, oh, that is going on. And, and, and I want people to, I would like young people to hear that song. A lot of people don't know about that song, no. No. To sow with love, my true. And you go hear everything that he speak about from 1973. We are facing it today in 2002 in Trinidad and Tobago. Have you gone? All right, thank you for that. Thank you. Exactly. People don't know. You understand? They don't know. And they won't research. Because right now, I was just this week here on the news. The president of the guess how many call us the president of the foreign news rule on rule of car dealership was talking on the new on the news. He was being interviewed. And he's saying this thing the finance finance minister said in May come in, he's going to remove the uh the taxes on the uh hybrid and the hybrid vehicles and them. Right? So that hybrid vehicles will now be cheaper to purchase in Trinidad and Tobago. It was there before and they put on the tax on it and the, the hybrid vehicles going up. And then what happened is that hybrid vehicles now, he said in May come in, he's going to reduce, take off that tax rule so that hybrid vehicles will be cheaper to, to buy. Seeing that the gas race, right? And here it is, the president of the four news and 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 roll on roll of car dealership was on news saying that in that same clause that he he talk about there is a fine print that they put in there that saying that the cc of the vehicle which is the engine plus the electronic part the, the electronic component which is the hybrid battery right should not be under a certain Kilowatt, which is about 45, right? And if it is over 45, then you have to pay the same tax that it was a custom paying before. So only vehicles with this 45 kilowatt, right? All of them out there, only vehicles with this 45 and below kilowatt can can get the exemption from the taxes. And he is crying for all the same yellow card, red card. The finance minister, man, because there is no vehicle, no hybrid vehicle in the world with that level, no, that low 45% kilowatt, none. He said the, the smallest hybrid vehicle is the Aqua, and that have a 54-something kilowatt. So what the finance minister do? <laughs> they have no real tricks, you know. They put in the fine print that only vehicles under that kilowatt will be get the exemption for the tax. 
When they said no vehicles under that kilowatt, not one vehicle that ever manufactured with a hybrid battery plus engine have that kilowatt. The, the lowest is 54. And he know that, but he put the lowest at 45. So that means no hybrid vehicle is going to get the exemption. Really? Really? Really, Carl Member? You really do that? <laughs> Right? And when he saw that, he came out in the media and said, what, what, that they making no sense. What they're doing there is making no sense. Because here it is, they're telling them outright, oh, we're going to move the, the tax exemptions on the hybrid vehicles. Right? Happy people jump in here. Yeah, we we, at least we go buy a hybrid vehicle. We pay cheaper for it. But in the fine print, we ain't tell nobody is that the vehicle had to be under 45 kilowatt. That's where the battery and the engine Come together, combine together. When they do the math, that is how much it's supposed to be. And there is no hybrid vehicle with the smallest engine coming down. Is the Aqua nothing smaller than that? The Note nothing smaller than that. And both vehicles is forty-five and up. It's um fifty-five and up. You understand kilowatt? So that means the vehicle that he put at forty-five kilowatt, no car company manufactured it yet. All the real, hey, all the real shots. Let me go back to the phone lines. Um, seven seven one one seven nine one. That's the WhatsApp line, and uh, you can call the four six six five three nine one number. Let's see what's on the phone lines. Caller. Baby, uh, preacher. Yes, brother. Right. I was going to call you and tell you about that thing, um, scenario with that um, that chat thing. Yeah. Right. As I was bringing that to our customer. Uh -huh. uh, the customer has exemptions but, uh, the customer um, apparently um, have, she doesn't know something right? I don't know about she, she asked me about it so I, I told she said no but the taxes are going to be in the vehicles and that's the next thing that she did yep call her call her Cola, I don't know where you're going, Cola. Hello? Wow. Cola lost here. You gotta call me back. I don't understand what went on there. Call her, call me back. I want to listen to what you're saying. They call her. I like what you're doing. Hello, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Evie. Hey, what's up? My partner, TC, now you alone in your TC this afternoon? Yeah, I alone here, TC. I have some um, other engagements. Hello, good afternoon. Yeah, TC. This government is here. This government is like the country. They're not going to take the play with me. They're not going to sleep with me. Yeah, I alone here, TC. Wow. I'm going to take him for fools, boy. Tell him me. Every hour, boy. Hi, brother. I'm going to go back to the lines here. I hope this call I get you now. Um. Oh, running water from here to here. Hearts that no one desire. That if there is a man. Caller. Caller. Hello. 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 Caller. Caller. I hear, I hear an echo, echo, so that so means you're on. You're on. Uh, yeah. Okay, I lost that call. Voices from the ghetto. Crying, crying. Hello? Hello, good afternoon. Hello? Yeah. Who's this? You call the radio station nine one nine FM. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to speak to um Heavy on the show. Yes, we are live. This is Heavy and you're live. Oh, hi, Heavy. Hey, what's uh, up? Uh, my name is Neil. Hi, uh, how you doing, man? I'm okay. Uh, my name is Neil, and uh, you know, I live in Trinidad. Uh, I left. I left home in 1988. Right. Mm -hmm. And the reason why, and the reason why I left home is because I'm, you know, you know, I see the same problems that you guys have been right now, that I already know what's going to happen. 
right? And all these different um, parties that is, that is, you know, running the country, all they're doing is just, you know, taking advantage of the people. And the people home, you know, all they do is just only talk, 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 talk. Right. Right? And, 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 you know, everybody trying to, to um, compare um, U.S. dollar with, with, you know, Trinidad currency. Yeah. You cannot, you cannot, um, compare. do it like that. Yeah, you can't compare like no, that. No, no, you cannot compare because, because it's dollar for dollar. Okay. U.S., right? Everybody, you know, you know, I listen, I listen to, to, um, you know, a lot of other radio stations and everybody talking about, about um, U.S. paying taxes, you know, if, if a person working in the U.S., they have to pay this tax and that tax. But, but, but what I have to remember that the that the way U.S. government run, right? Mm -hmm. They have things in place if people cannot afford certain things. Correct. Like for instance, right in the pandemic, right in the pandemic, right? They had families out here. That was, you know, who have a certain amount of kids below the ages of 18 was getting $500 a month. 500 plus, US? Plus, yeah, 500 US a month for each child. Wow. Plus for, each, getting, for each child? For each child. Yes. Wow. Plus, there was getting, plus, there was getting at least $2,000 in food cards. Hmm. Okay. Okay. We wasn't doing at home. Right, we have a prime minister giving people yams and and stuff. You know, who could eat that? Right? Hmm. What for the old people? What for the kids? You know, you know, they've been taking care of our people. You know, everybody talking about you know U.S. this and U.S. that, but U.S. take care of the people. Correct. Right. Correct. We have enough money. We have enough money home where we can take care of the people because we only have like one point two. We only have one point three million people here. Million people. Yeah. Right. Okay, all those governments that come there, all they're doing is is just cheating the people, right? Mm -hmm. And right now, right, right now, right now, if they have to def defeat PNM, right, what they have to do, all those all those other single parties, um, all all those other parties that is trying to to um, end up the politics, yeah, build up, I, yeah, end up in politics. What they have to do, right? If you have if you have four different parties, right, and you have PNM, PNM will win because because you know PNM will win because PNM will get PNM will get the majority of the vote. Here, what they have to do, they have to team up as one or two. That's how they have to be PNM. Okay. They have to team up because it, all that, those people. They are form a coalition government. They have to form or a coalition government. Yeah. To be PNM because. PNM, PNM is a very strong party. That's how UNC beat them the last time. Yeah. They got a team up. Right. Right? Right? And I know the perfect person who I know can run that country, you know. I, I mean, I say, after I finish talk, you know, a lot, a lot of people might call. But... but I didn't want you to change the dynamics. I mean, I'm sure to, 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 to who could be the PNM for election, eh? Because that's a whole topic by itself. You understand? I want to okay. stick with the, with okay, the, with okay, the, well. with the gas prices and the money comparing okay. to the U.S. Okay. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. But okay. I will deal with that next week. Listening. Tune in next week and we'll go deal right. with that. Okay. Right? Perfect. Good. Perfect. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, yeah, man. I'm not finished yet. Yeah. I'm not finished yet. I have, I have something else I want to say. Uh, go ahead. Okay. Uh, yeah, I was listening. I was listening to another talk show host, right? On that same station, right? Mm-hmm. I, 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 and she said that how people having problems paying 100 cent more for gas but you know she don't really realize is that if you have a 48 gallon tank uh a 48 kilometers right yeah um right but, uh, 48 liters 48 more. liters we're paying for 48 dollars 40, more yeah 48 liters 48 dollars more right yeah right. then now then now you know then now you know another thing you have to do is calculate how much money per liter and and you know if you get like six and if you get like six or seven liter, that is how much liter you will lose if you wasn't paying at fourteen dollars. Correct, correct. Right? Me, me, maybe she can afford it, but a lot of other people cannot afford it. Exactly. Right. 
And like people only watch and, and call our people only watch at the gas alone point of view. What about cost of living? Right. What about what, 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 what everything ev else? Everything is going to go up. When gas go up, everything's go up because gas is transportation. Everything going to go up. Exactly. You know, so, so you know, that's my contribution. But thank I will you. try to, to call back next week. Because, All right, you know, thank I've you. Always, I've, been, I've been always thinking, you know, yeah, I'm man. calling from California in Los Angeles. I'm calling from California oh. in um, Los Angeles. Okay, all right. Thank you for calling so in and I, thank you for listening. All right, man. I just always listen to you on TC, man. Ah, oh, good, 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 good. All right, man, brother. Yeah, man. Thanks. All right, man. Yeah, we go talk. All right, yeah, man. All right, all right, so the lines are open. Um, I want my partner to come back who was talking about the, about the vehicle and the taxes with the with the tax exemptions and the vehicles. And, and again, this phone line, to, I don't know why this phone line getting some problems here. All right, let me see if I can get him here now. Yeah. yeah. All right, so the, my partner, if you listen, and you're so was talking about the vehicles, because a lot of people, and, and I don't know why politicians just do us that. All right, let me see this in here. Call her. Yeah, we... All right, yeah, man, you're back inside. Yeah, boy, um, busy this morning, too. Right, so, the customer called her, and she explained to me what's going on. So I told her, she telling me that um, the, she had the finance minister, so and so. I said, well, yes, I said, well, when you check the fine things, and uh, uh, we check the, um, the documents, and we realized that um, it didn't apply to us, uh, us down here at all. And only to here now, is most country you know how that I mean some motorbike or something. Yeah, yeah. That's for some kind of motorbike or something. <laughs> and the, the thing about it is so much so much has been said about the whole situation and we have no we are here no reply about the situation if there was an error or any kind of thing. You understand? Yeah. So the customers feel like we just don't want to give them the, the, the um the, the exemptions and stuff like that. You understand? But they don't so understand that the exemptions that they say they're going to give is for a vehicle that doesn't exist. They don't exist. They don't exist at all. So in Smarty hit it, hit and we are shot. Where they, 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 they call that? They call that a applause, a applause, um, what do you call it? Like, you know, you want people to applaud, you get them something, they say, well, yeah, yeah, we get something so, out So, yeah. so, so he said, he said, in other words, he, in one hand, he said, Gas is going to raise by one dollar. Fuel is going to raise by one dollar. And in the other hand, it's well, well. Guess what? I go down and drop the tax, take away the tax exemption from from hybrid vehicles. But he never tell them that the, the hybrid vehicles he taking the exemption offer is a hybrid vehicle that doesn't exist. It don't exist. Yes, wow. Sir? So that is that is very deceiving. And now another another thing I want to touch on very quickly. Um, I hear you know about the gas the gas price and thing. I heard that explanation. With all due respect, um, Mr. Um, Sauer, all right, Mataria, he made a statement yesterday, right? Um, and he said that um, the exact, the, if we refine oil here, no, sorry, we bring in oil here in order for we to sell it, um, to make oil, gas to sell, right? Mm -hmm. But don't we, don't we make, don't we drill for oil here? We are, are we not doing any exploration and we to, 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 to for oil? So if we have oil here, how we have to bring in oil in order to, to why we buying oil when we could, when we make an oil here? You understand what I'm saying? Okay. So the explanation he gave yesterday, right? I didn't find it making so much of sense because when that, let me explain that to me. If we drilling for oil in Trinidad and Tobago and we have oil and we could use the oil to make the gas or whatever the case, as he was explaining yesterday, how it is we buying oil to bring here? You understand? It, it, it wasn't making no sense to me. So uh, that is something I, will, I, I would like somebody to explain to me. All right, you understand? Cool. All right. Sorry. Yeah, man. Thank you. They preach, all right? That's right. All right. You know, catch your voice here. All right, brother. Take it easy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. man. Thanks. <laughs> all right. Let's use one of the phone lines. I'll try to get this next line here. Let's see if I can get it. It's ringing off the hook, but. Right. 
Okay, so this is what I'm saying too. Why do the people that? Huh? Why? Why? Right, we're going for a break. We only have one minute left, so call up on the phone calls. We're going to take your calls in the next hour. You're surely having it here live on the street, 919 FM. Right, uh, this is the Week in Review. When we come back, we're going to take some more calls, and I'm going to change gears a little bit because I need to touch on the, the fighting in schools. There are a lot of uh, clips of children fighting in secondary schools across the country, and it's very, very disgusting. So we're going to touch on that when we come back. I'm going to talk a little about that, and I'm going to get your, your opinions and what can we do about this, these youths and them fighting in schools, because that is the talk of the tongue right now. Right? So when we come back after the break, we're going to switch gears a little bit. I'm going to touch on the fights in schools. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street. 919 FM. Thank you. Thank you so much. The next one that we're going to do. I don't think they know it, you know. You think they, you think they, fellas, I don't think they know this one. Y'all think they can check out the, uh, you think they know. Mm. All right, Jack. I hear you. Okay. Y'all know this one. Showing an hour without a doubt, right here on the street 919 FM, each and every Sunday from 7 pm to 9 pm, with yours truly I'm you alongside Select Akachi. So make it a date and don't be late. Rock and come in, still line up, link up, creep up. You don't know reggae rock each and every Sunday. Salute, got a Maori King, still a CI. Right 
Tune in to The Street 919 FM every Thursday from 10.05 a.m. to 10.20 a.m. for the program Straight and Narrow, The Way of Life, The Health Store. Being brought to you by Mrs. Arlene Collins Mohammed. For more information, check us out on Facebook or Instagram at Straight and Narrow. Or visit our website at www.opulence.com slash Arlene for Life. You can also call or WhatsApp at 309-4697 or 620-9379. Roger Garraway and his community of creatives present The Royal Exhibits, a three-day art exhibition, Wednesday, April 27th to Friday, April 29th. We Spark Savannah, daily start time, 11.30 a.m. to 6 p.m. Under the auspices of the MP for St. Anne's East, Dr. Nyan Gatsby Dolly, the greatest and finest pieces ever witnessed by local artists in Trinidad and Tobago will be on display for purchase. Come to this wonderful event and walk away owning a masterpiece that can be displayed in your home or passed down for generations to come. Roger Garraway has now made his mark on the international market, breaking barriers and setting the standard high. He and his group of friends will wow you with their out-of-this-world pieces. This event cannot be missed. You can also enjoy the opportunity to browse and purchase fantastic one-of-a-kind handmade art and craft pieces created by local designers from the community. Special guest appearances by Patrice Roberts, Michael Edwards and Friends, Iwer George, Roxanne Lane, Tracy, and Joey Rivers and his band. Food and drinks on sale. Secured parking for all vehicles and all COVID-19 protocols will be observed. Special thank you to the Member of Parliament for St. Anne's East, Dr. Nyan gaspi Tune in to the Street 919 FM for the program, The Final Hour, with Pastor Valentine Garcia Jr. and his wife, Nikki Garcia, for the Bible study every Thursday from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. Mark chapter 16, verse 15 says, Go into all the world and preach this gospel for every creature, for I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation. Join the winning team with Pastor Alkaline John every Monday from 10.05 a.m. to 11 a.m. and every Wednesday evening from 10 p.m. to 11 p.m. live on the street 919 FM as he talks about La Vive, the power of five fruits, one of the most powerful antioxidant supplements on the market today. The five superfruits in La Vive are mangosteen, acai, pomegranate, gogi, and nuni. These fruits have a positive and profound impact on human health performance and disease. Listen to Pastor Alkaline John every Tuesday at 9.05 a.m. and Wednesday at 7 p.m. on the street 919 FM as he gives live testimonials of the Laviv healing powers. To get more information, you can contact Pastor Alkaline John at 516-286-7079, 516-286-7079. Seven zero seven nine, or you can visit his webpage at www.alkalinejohn.com. The Gospel of the Kingdom radio program with Gilbert James is now on the Street 919 FM every Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. The Bible says the Gospel of the Kingdom shall be preached in all the world as a witness to all nations and then the end shall come. For more info, call 652-0924 or 298-4540 and join us every Thursday from 8 to 9 p.m. for the Gospel of the Kingdom radio program with Gilbert James. Hi there, I'm Lester Simplal, inviting you to join me on the first, second, and third Saturday, 8.30 p.m. to 11 p.m. for the program Slow Gospel Music, and on the fourth and fifth Saturday from 8.30 p.m. for an extended version of Slow Gospel Music on Street 91.9 FM. 
The Gap Man Limited specializes in products that cater to all your health needs. The male enhancement package targets the areas of the body that contribute to erectile dysfunction. The male enhancement costs $1,400. The Gap pills are priced at 250 pills for $500 and 500 pills for just $900. For the best in eye care, get the super combination of a super bright and the body healer. To improve the heart's function and circulation, get the Gap pills and Formula C. To get a total body cleanse daily, use the Gap Body Healer and Big C, all for a super low price of $1,300. To order your products from the Gap Man Limited, call 628-4531 for products that cater to all your health needs. For more info, contact 476-7268. Hi, what's up, TNT? This is Wayne Johnson out of Brooklyn, New York. I always wanted to do something back home, and we're going to be doing our gospel segment on Mondays from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's 10 p.m. to 12 midnight on 91.9 FM. Listen what I want you to do. Spread the word. Spread the word, TNT. Salvation, full and free. Salvation. It's for everybody. Mondays from 10 p.m. to 12 midnight. That's 10 p.m. to 12 midnight on 91.9 FM. Share the line. Share the line. Mystery 919 FM on Facebook and Instagram. Share the line. Iowa George on Instagram. Share the line. Iowa TV and Street Street TV on YouTube. Share the line. The Street 919 FM.
shine in your head Your whole life will be your misery You're better off dead For there is simply no room In this whole wide world For an uneducated little boy or girl Don't allow idle companions To lead you astray To earn tomorrow you got to live Ah, uh, yes, we are back, we are back, we are back, and education is from the mighty Sparrow. Yes, that song used to, used to inspire, <laughs> used to inspire me when I was growing up. Uh, yeah, that song from Mighty Sparrow, education. Yes, so we're going to talk about the, the schools, the schools fights that's happening right now in our country. Um, it's very terrible right now that our young people choose to go to school and fight. Fighting the roads, fighting the classrooms, fighting the schoolyard, fighting on the maxis, fighting is only fight, 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 fight. So, all over social media, people is talking about the school's children that is fighting. And it's becoming a problem now. There have been a lot of school fights before that make social media, right? And But now, since school reopened, school just reopened this week. This week here on Tuesday, today Saturday, just Tuesday. And from Tuesday, probably till Thursday, there was about, uh, 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 every day, as almost every day was like two, three school fights showing on social media videos of children fighting. Right? And the question was asked in Parliament what the uh, Minister of Education is going to do about these school fights, and the, they have no plan as yet. Right? It was, it was asking, well, the opposition was asking the, the current, uh, well, the, the Minister of Education, I can't say the Minister because the Minister is, uh, is under home because she's uh, sick uh, with, with uh, COVID. So to say, and so the person, the representative from the Ministry of Education that was in the parliament, they had us answer the questions posted by the uh, opposition in parliament concerning the same fights in the school. Now, a lot of people are blaming parents, some people are blaming schools, some people are, are saying it's the music, some people are saying it's the environment, some people are even saying it's the vaccine. I uh, saw so a post as people saying the vaccine they give the children and cause them to get on. So, um, but this, what is your take? Before I make um, put, say my opinion on this, I would like to hear from you, the public. What is your take on these fights in school, and how you think we should deal with it? Right. So don't just come and blame someone. Come and say how you think we should deal with the. The, the youth send them in the schools right now that's only fighting, fighting school come like WWF, WWE wrestling right now. So the numbers to call uh three four two no seven seven one one seven nine one and four six six five three nine one. That's seven seven one one seven nine one. That's a WhatsApp number. And the next number to call is four six six five three nine one. Right? We're going to the phone lines. Let's see who's there. Caller? Good afternoon, Mr. Heavy. Good afternoon. I will say children and them need back prayers in school. They need to put God first. Because God said, put me first. Put God said to put him before yourself and all of them. But they go prayer out of school. You understand? Right. They need to put back prayer in school. They take out the prayer from school. The children need to be de delivered. They need deliverance. Not every not every child, because it has some children very nice what going to school. But I figure they should up they need to put back prayer in school. I watch at it and water run from my eye. Because I have a mother of four children, a grandmother of fifteen grand and six great grand. Right? And I say in it, I figure they need to put back God first. For that prayer in the school, the children need the reference. All right. We need that. Okay. Okay, Jama. Thank you very much. Remember, yeah. say bring back the prayers in the school. All right. Let me. What say you? What say you? What can? How can we deal with this? 
the school situation with the children fighting in school. The numbers to call. Let's use on the phone lines. Uh, you can still call and talk about what I was talking about before. You don't necessarily have to talk about this particular topic, but we're talking. Caller. Hey, yes. Preacher again here. I'll be very quick. Um, I think what the, what the Ministry of Education, Ministry of Social Development, and National Security should do is to come together and come up with a plan, right, to deal with the situation. But my suggestion is that they should introduce a point system in the schools that if you if you reach up to three points with any form of vi um, um, violence or any kind of thing like that, mm -hmm. they, they, they should have a, 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 a special school that you should be there and, and like how the how YTC I think, you know, go, go send you into YTC and them kind of thing because you might end up getting wood. Okay. So you have a special school for these type of children who behave in this kind of manner. And where to... And like... And where things cause any problem? Well, heavy, there's a lot of... That is a whole book by itself. Because oh, okay. there's a lot of things. Yeah, every yeah, yeah. home, Every home have different situations. Some might be financial. Some might be parents, um, less care of the parents. Some 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 people children go up home without love in the home, you know. So all they know is violence. Right. Or so sometimes that is a way children take their anger out because, you know, they need certain things, they can't get certain things. And I mean, it's a, I work in a school heavy and it's a whole, whole different ball game. There are children who come there with um, knives, they come with all kind of different things, weapons and when I sit down and finish talking to them, you would, you would never believe that it's the same children they have. Children need guidance. Some, some teachers as well. What they do is they always bawling on the child. And they come in home from, with home with that same thing. It has some child that come and tell me, sister, I eat nothing this morning and you're fine again. Also, but I am hungry, sir. I hmm. eat nothing this morning. So all these situations, and this is really talk I'm telling you. Right. I have children that, I have children that come back and um, two past students who come back and, and they say, you know what? I want to, I have a special, I have a gift for school. I say what I saw, they say, so the kind of the thing they impart to me when I was in school. They say, I never forget that. And, and they say, so I started to do good in my work and all kind of because I listen to what they say. So children, regardless of how they are, you need to show them a little love because they're not getting that. There's a whole, there's a whole ball game with these children. It can't be one situation. There are many, many, many things because all homes have different situations. So that is what I'll say to you. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thank you, preacher. Yes. Thank you very much. So the lines are open. That's what. Uh, uh, let me hear what you have to have to say. Education, education. What's going on with the youth in our schools today? I'm gonna give my take on this, but I want to hear from you guys first. So, uh, Philip said, do a point system where you could uh, take with points from the children. And then send them to a special school. Caller. Hi, uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm okay. This is New Grand? Yeah. Uh, I get I catch your voice. <laughs> so we talking about the we talking about the kids in the school. What do you want to talk about? Uh, yes, well I'm gonna talk about that because I told them that I'm doing this for her much sure this morning. And my whole take on, on, on this thing is I find we should bring back as a focus curriculum sporting in school. Bring back what? Sporting. Sports. Cook for punishment? Sports. Talk. Sports. And I hear this. Talking. Sports. 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 All right, continue. I don't understand what you're saying. Eh? Okay, listen. S P O R T. What is that? Sports. Sports. That's right. Correct, correct. Ah, sports. I, uh, I don't Ooh. know why I'm here. No, can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah, sports. Go ahead. Um, mm -hmm. Right. Because you see, that carries more the level of discipline. Okay. Okay. Yes, right. yes. And, and they speak with, 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 the, with the corporal punishment and the religion. They pull these three things and these three things, they sing that organ, you know, a young person mind. Right? It mm -hmm. is it, you know, I love it because you, you know, when children swing together, they learn that community spirit, you know, right? So that is one of the important things that they, they need to spend money on, right? I would be 100% for that, right? And just quickly, with the gas, right? 
Mm-hmm. I think we need to change our lifestyle, right? We, we, we feel, okay, this will up your have money, this one could spend and that one can't spend. Why, why can't we try to have food in it, right? By looking in China and those places, right? People who work right around the area, they have bicycles, scooters, you know? And these things are sure consumption. Right, so why everybody had to jump in the vehicle, right? We, we had to change our lifestyle, you know? Right, so that's why it is to be right, and not too well, but All right. a little contribution, okay? All right, thank you very much. All right. Thank yeah. you, Mr. Grant. Okay. So, you can, we're getting some good contributions today concerning the, uh, the children in school. Let me hear about this one. Some people have to say again. Cola. Uh, good afternoon to you, dear Brother Heavy. Yes, good afternoon, Cola. Oh, yeah, Mr. Tabaki here. Hey, Tabaki, what's up, man? Happy to be alive. A bit quieter this afternoon. Okay. Uh, you know, sometimes you want to call you, I want to, but um, this particular segment, I uh, want to put a two cents quickly. I wouldn't stay too long today. All right, go ahead. Okay. Now... I've been making this clarion call for the whole week. And I think it's time that the government bring legislation to charge parents for negligence. I'll tell you why. Now, if Wendy is your daughter and Frank is your son and you cannot account for that child, this is where the government should bring legislation. And I'll tell you why, my brother. All the problem stems from the home. The home is where the center, the epicenter of the problem. Even though we understand where the school is the second parent, the, the police is the third parent, but I'm saying children live what they see. And 99.9% of what's taking place today in the nation's schools on the street one of the main things, too, is fatherhood, manhood, and the entire issue surrounding these children, regardless you talk about peer pressure, win them, join them, acceptance, all the is is in the home. And I'm saying, I'm making a clarion call with no political strings here to the Prime Minister and the Attorney General, the Minister of Education, I know they have PR people listen to all programs. I am saying it's time we bring legislation. And if that is your child and you cannot give a proper account, where is that child? Why that child is not behaving properly? I am saying I will support any legislation that the government is going to come with to slap parents on the wrist and say, you know what? You would have to now stand up before the magistrate court and you have to enter for Frank or Wendy because these children are minors. They can't speak on their own because all the problem is coming from the home. Heavy as I take my leave, mm -hmm. let me repeat it. I make a clarion call to the Attorney General to the Minister of Education and the Honorable Prime Minister. Come with the legislation. It is time we charge parents for negligence. All Thank right. you for allowing me. Tabakit out and out. Thank you, Tabakit. Thank you very much. All right. So there you have it. We have some people giving some, they're putting in their two cents on this topic. And... I asked for a solution, and some of them has coming up with some okay, okay, good solutions. Um, I do uh, charging parents for negligence. Uh, I kind of not mixed feelings about that. Okay, let me see who's on this line here. Caller. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you, Heavy. And good afternoon to Ron Tobago. Yes, man. What's up? Parents are, you, you must hold parents accountable. Parents must be accountable. Mm -hmm. How it is a parent does buy a nice car 
and the tire bus and they finally take responsibility to go by the tire shop and fix that car buy back a nice tire spend six seven hundred dollars for a tire the engine go bad they spend four thousand dollars for an engine for nice air condition and to drive happy and fancy and when they see the train growing wrong from young they don't know to correct the children and bring up a responsible children. How it is that has happened? How it is them mothers and fathers and them could call the radio station for 50 years and say PNM, 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 we love the PNM, and they can't call the radio station and motivate the youths and them and inspire the youths and them for them to go forward in life. How it is? Parents must be held accountable. Must be held accountable. Heavy. And let me tell you something. It might sound sad. It might sound sad. But if that if that I'm um, holy parents and them accountable in Trinidad and Tobago, it has no PNM party group. It has none. Because me you see them children in the Mahasaba school fighting and, and getting on like that. Me you see them Chinese children and them doing that. Me you see them she see them children and them doing that. Only only the little African youths and them and the mother and fathers them calling radio station all over Trinidad and Tobago and they're not seen to the Easter holiday alone. Have you am I there? Yeah, 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 listen. Yes. Holiday alone, twenty something murders. Twenty something murders wasn't Chinese people, wasn't people from Calcutta, wasn't Syrian people, was we African youth brothers and them, the future of this country. We see him dying like that. But they're not calling the radio station, motivating and inspiring and encouraging the people and them. They're not doing those things. They like party politics. Why is the, our future is going down the drain? Why is our future is going down the drain? When we when the future being misled like this, because we use we use radio time for agenda and not for future. But if we use radio time for future, these things will happen. These things will happen. I have been part of this radio station for over 16, 17 years. And the same thing repeating over and over and over. And you're hearing the same people in them calling. And all they can do is condemn the UNC, condemn the PDP, or the, the UNC condemn the PNM. And that is all going on for years and for years. And we call that constructive talk. That mm. is not constructive talk. talk. Mm. That, is, that is betraying. That is betraying and misleading the future generation. And when we speak out about that, it have programs will cut you off. And we don't want to hear them things. Why? That is the future we're speaking about. And if you don't have somebody to call radio station and motivate the future generation, what will happen? We could predict because every sensible person could predict. If we don't, if we don't educate the future and guide the future, every sensible person in this country could predict what will happen in the next five years. If hmm. mothers and fathers in the country not working, they cannot nourish the child. And if you have a baby and you cannot nourish that baby, that will, ignorance will be in that, that, that child head. Hmm. Ignorance, hmm. because you're not nourishing the child properly. And to nourish a child properly, you must be working so that you can buy things and nourish to give the child that to nourish the child. In Toronto and Tobago, that's not happening. It's not happening. Over 60% of our population in this country, mothers and fathers, under pain, pressure, problem, and in poverty, can they nourish their children? Mothers and fathers, right now we are the highest depression and anxiety by mothers and fathers. The highest ever in the history of Trinidad and Tobago, and no one take notice of that. In our school, the children and them hide low self-esteem, anxiety, depression. The highest ever in the history of Trinidad and Tobago, and nobody taking heed of that. Nobody not taking heed of that. Hmm. But we are a PNM until we dead, and we are UNC until we dead. A lot of nothing seen what's happening to our future. We could predict what will happen in the next five, ten years. You will see this country worse, worse than Haiti and all these places. And Haiti not bad, but the, 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 the cost of living is high and the, and, and the opportunity is scarce. And that is what we will see in Trinidad and Tobago over here. Why? Don't blame government. You know? Blame those silly mothers and fathers. Those silly mothers and fathers and grandmothers and grandfathers that call in radio station for years, for years, and all of to laugh and say, as a UNC, as a UNC, or as a PNM, and that. blame them because they never guided the youths. The future generation, they never guided. All right, Have a Kunji. wonderful day, Avi. All right, thank you very much, Kunji. Thank you. Kola. I will still say, Mr. Heavy, I will still say, but God first bring back prayer in the school, prayer conquer all. 
He is God, the Heavenly Father. Bring him back in the school. All right. Bring him back. That All will right. help the children. All right, Jim. All right. <laughs> okay, so, Kunji said I'm hopeful. Um, let me take this call and then I'm gonna say my two cents on this. Caller. Loving the house. Hey, what's up, loving the house? Yeah, that's cool, man. Loving the house to the world, actually, rather than to be going to the rest of the world. Heavy. Yes, man. You see, when you talk about education, this is something different. But don't feel these people who are in politics and all these ministers, they have nothing to do with this, you know. Hmm. We're talking about blame parents. Yes, you can do that only if you get other things in place. Because what education is, education can be viewed as a transmission and the values of the accumulated knowledge of society. In that sense, it's equivalent to what social scientists term socialization or inculturation. For a child, look at where he's born. He born without a culture. And education was designed to learn teaching a child a culture. He fell in up in ways of adulthood and preparing for your eventual role in society. You see, when you take with the power from the teachers heavy, mm-hmm. there is where you do. Hmm. Because we are teachers, we are taught, and we are specialists. Right now, we need specialists. We need specialists, because a specialist is a person who could identify your unique ability and encourage you to develop it up. Not only your ability alone, you know. When you come to school, they could identify this child not comfortable with what they live in. Long time that used to happen in school. Correct. Teachers visiting the parents' home. Hmm. But when you take that child from the parent now, how which part are you going to put the child? You can't be blaming parents right now because you're going to take the children from them. But where are you going to put them? It's in a no place fit for them. No place. That with the government and the people with the money and authority come in. Parents can't do this alone. It's, they're depending on me. At the end of the day, they're depending because they get tired with influence. Influence is not just a word, you know. It's an effect, and we just see it taking effect all on adults. So what about children? You feel like you can't take, take effect on them? With all these things we're exposed to right now, at the end of the day, we need specialists. We don't need no teacher again. We don't need no thought. We need people. We need it. You have to give back the teacher the power. But the teacher is the most powerful person here right now. All the magistrate, all the attorney general, all of them, is a teacher the pass to come where it is. It's a teacher will put them there. Without teacher, they can not reach there. Correct. How you going to take with the power from the teacher? You have to give back the teachers the power every at the end of the day. Because wherever you see them coming out here with them children, every term is where the education system provide. This is what they're doing. They ain't preparing you for no eventual role in society. Look at, look at Marshall Montano from small. Somebody identify his unique ability and encourage him to develop it up the like way we reach today. Right. Same thing with Michael Jackson, all of them. So we can't be blaming parents. And then when you want to take the children from them, because the children in no, no, in no fit place, where are you going on for them? Watch out what's going on. Look how much teachers impregnant and children in school. We and the, the, the authorities turning a blind eye to that. We have to blame them. We responsible for them children at the end of the day. Right, everybody, let's know. I love in the house, right? All right, love in the house. Yeah. Thank you. All right, that was love in the house. So, um, hold up on the phone calls. I gave all their chance to say all their two cents. Just allow me 10 minutes, and I'm going to take calls again. Right? Let me... Allow me to say my two cents on this now. So I heard everybody, some of you say prayers, uh, teachers, uh, preachers say that I do a point system and then put them in a, in a, um, in a special school. Um, Robin e. House give his point of view of what causing the problem and what should be done. Right? A lot of you guys, Kunji made his, uh, his uh, analogy and then some people say when the parents, the parents should uh, be accountable, you know? But here what I'm saying to you, children and Tobago, right? Our education system and our system on the whole that govern us failed. Failed the children of children and Tobago. Failed the youths of children and Tobago. Failed the young people of children and Tobago. It failed them drastically and I will tell you why 
You can never keep a 1970-something school system that formed in 1970-something school system in 2022. It will never work. As fast as the world change and things change and technology come into place, so is the education school system and the way we bring up young people in our society have to change. We can no longer try to train young people in the way that us as elders or as big people or as parents was taught. I'm going to say that again. We are using a 1970s, 80s education system that was formulated and invented by oh, Eric Williams and whoever Ministry of Education at that time. In this new modern 2022 world, to try and do, we, we, we keep doing the same thing over and over, expecting a different results. What we are doing now, this secondary school system, school primary school education system that we have now, is ancient. It's backward. And some of our ideas and ideology of fixing it is also backward. It's also ancient. Right? You need to understand with the introduction of the internet, with the introduction of a cell phone, with the introduction of online and, and tablets and laptops and computers and technology, that we can no longer teach our children how we used to teach them back in the 80s and 90s when we were taught. We can no longer use the same system of punishing them we can no longer use the big stick policy. We had was to reinvent, and we can no longer teach them how we used to teach them. We now have to reinvent how education is in Trinidad and Tobago. And because nobody did that, and nobody see or had an idea or bring anything innovational to the table, and no government transform, transform the whole system, we are stuck. We are stuck, Trinidad and Tobago. And because we are stuck, we have a whole generation of youths that is going to be lost. Right? Because what's happening now, not only affecting the children, it's also affecting the parents and it's affecting society. Parents can no longer be parents and teachers can no longer be teachers like how we had them long ago. And I'm going to explain you. When we were young, as children, our parents, right, are not, are, are not, I don't like to pinpoint. I like to talk overall. So I'm not going to pick out something and dwell on it, right? So I'm not going to go based on who was single parent or who was married couple or who was what, Right? What it has something that we don't know about in Trinidad and Tobago called pop culture. Right? If you don't know what's pop culture, I'm going to try and explain it. Back in the 80s and 90s, the pop culture of our generation was different. The music was different. The clothes was different. The time was different. Food was different. Cost of living was different. Right? What we like to eat and want to drink and go and party and lime and go on the beach. Things are different. So the pop culture of 80s children and 90s children different to the pop culture of children who grew up in 2000s. And now the pop culture of this generation is different. It's called pop culture. And this is what you gravitate to. The movies and the TV shows we watched back then are not the same now. We had the Cosby show and, 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 and Family Time and all these things long time. Golden Girls and Young and Sets and Night Rider. Right now, what are they showing? Right now, children don't even watch TV. They, they're on YouTube watching music videos and they're playing game consoles. They, they're playing game consoles, um, shooting and, 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 and 
um, Call of Duty and, and this next one with them trying playing. My, my son will be playing that too on the TV all then or on the phone or on the, on the tablet. You understand? Pop G and all these things. You understand? The, the times are different. When we used to go out and play and fly kite and pitch marble, they're not doing that now. Right? So now, we have nobody to train these youths into this now time because we're still trying to use 1980s, 90s way of tra training youths. Nothing has changed. So it come like they ahead of us in technology, but we're trying to carry them back to teach them how to write in book. Telling them A for apple, B for bad, and they have a tablet in their hand that giving them all the information. We don't know how to go and download, what to know to go on, and what, what site to go on to, to watch thing and watch porn and watch this and watch that. And they they open to the whole world in that in that phone, in that tablet, in that computer. And we want them going to school and sit down for eight hours or six hours in a book or on a blackboard. And they are rebelling. They are angry. No, and to go with all of that is times now different. It comes harder, difficult. Not for only children, but for parents. And as preacher said, there are children that go to school that doesn't have nothing to eat. There are children that go to school right now that does doesn't have do do, do have a, do, do, the boring our shoes. They don't have the, it's just difficult. Long ago. It had more people concerned about our children. So it had a village region, child. So your neighbor next door or the person down the road who see you doing nonsense could have discipline you. That gone out the door. Right? Also, it was cheaper and easier to raise a child long time than now. Now both parents have to work in order to make ends meet to, 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 to raise a child now. So there's lack of supervision in the homes. Right? On top of that, Teachers need to be retrained. Teachers, that whole teaching training college, eh, had to break down and build back in a new 21st century teaching how to teach children in the 21st century. And you know what caused this country to move into a direction of online teaching? COVID. Because of COVID-19, children had was to change from going to school to now learning in a, on a video screen or a tablet or a device and being taught at home, right? That was happening since 2001. I could remember doing a show with Precious where I brought, I was telling, I saw a video on YouTube where in New Zealand they were bringing tablets and computers to the classroom, not books. Children didn't so go, was going to school with all books in these countries. What they do, they come with the tablet, the teacher will download, they will tell you what book to go into, and you will have the book on your tablet, or it have a site that you can go and get the books on and go through it. Every written thing you had to write on, it's in your tablet. You're typing it in. If you had to write an essay, you type it in. If you had to write the answer to your questions, you're typing it in. You don't even need a pen. And that was since 2001, we in 2022. Right? So the solution to this problem now, right, is that Trinidad and Tobago need to understand that them youths out there, right, not only need discipline, you know, not only need counseling, you know, they need a new way of teaching them. Because the old way of teaching, the way how we were taught and how our parents were taught, is totally different to now. You cannot have these children, and, and, and I'm blaming our, hey, Lord, Father, I doesn't want, sometimes I just want to say, <sighs> we in our country here so backward. We so backward the world going forward and leave we if the, you know, and I tell you, if it wasn't for COVID, we don't know about working from home and thing, you know. People been doing that. So why are we still doing that? Just now, Kingsley. Right? 
Why we still in a modern time trying to do things the old way? If you have a, ba a you always go you leave your house and go into and buy a big back TV now and leave all the flat screen on the wall. We do go and buy a big back black and white TV. We have to get up and turn the knobs to change the channel. You won't. So why you want to teach children watching flat screen TV on a big back? Perfect example. So here it is, these children going to school. They're stressed out. They're frustrated. And they're angry. And could you bring a point, eh? Could you bring a point about... And uh, 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 it, 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 it turned it political, but I'm going to change it. He said, well, how come these things are happening in certain sco other schools? Right? And he called all these schools, some of these schools, right? But I'm not going to go there. Or oh, a certain class of people. I'm not going to say race because... The places, the schools that these children go to is a certain class of children go there. Race to it, but a certain class. People that could take care of the children financially wouldn't have angry children going to school. The homes that some of these children come out from are broken homes. Right? And this has to do with social. This has to do with social. This is a social problem. This has to do with social people going in there and finding out why. So we're watching the children and fighting, but we don't know why they're fighting. We don't know what's going on in the homes, as one caller said. So we have to get people to go in there and fix it, find out what's going on, talk to the children. Some of these children have been abused. Some of the children have been interfered with. Some of the children have, it, it, it belongs to gangs. Some of the children, and you have to understand that there's children. And all of us was young, and all of us, and, and, and when a child is young at that age, it'd be very easy to influence. So in order for us to do this, we need to come up with a very good plan, right? And we need to put good minds together to come up with that plan. We're going to take your calls now. 3420081771. Thank you for the uh thank you for the 10 minutes. 7711791 and 4665391. Let's use on the phone lines. All right. Uh Kingsley. My brother. Yes. And and, and my and my brother, you don't want to see it, but our parents have to take some blame along the way. And heavy as my Hello? topic on this my contribution on this stay one way and heavy today we have to ask ourselves what our children eating with who they're watching and who they're looking up to every today the young people some of them most of them are looking up to certain colorful people in our community colorful boys and colorful girls Every today in our communities, mothers join up with the child to cost the neighbor. Can you see? Today in our Change. community, every the neighbor cannot talk to a child again. Hello? Because the mother will come out and say, leave my child alone. We're interfering with my child alone. Heavy today, mothers taking five year old, seven year old, ten years old, and paying cutex. On the finger, every today, mothers putting on expensive weave on the little child. Every that making that child feel like he's a big woman. Every that is a part to play in it. Every that is a part to play in it. Every why why? Because long time ago, heavy why growing up, and I see and I see me and I see that that children here we should be picky. They used to buy braids and come it in cane rows. So they have a go a little long. That thing is the, this, the, this weave in the hair, this long weave in the internet. Today, heavy mothers are going in town and buying sexy clothes and putting on on the children, having the children feel, feeling there's a big woman and a big man. Heavy, so all these things, are heavy, so much to say about this, you know, heavy. And what I'm saying, you're heavy. I dare anybody to prove me wrong, you know. Every why that we lost, and, and, and I have to blame 
our parents could have even what, what they say in that all our parents drop the ball because if we ask our parents what we say them know about boyfriend when he's 19 and 20 now parents letting the the, the 15 year old girl child bring their boyfriend in, in the gallery and saying long, long time you couldn't bring a boy in a in a in my grandmother house you know a great a grandmother house you're mad when 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 you, 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 your parents tell you before sunset they have to be inside heavy today children 15 years old 16 years old 10 years old the outside after 10 after 11 and the parents inside sleeping heavy the parents inside sleeping and these and and and, and these 15 years old outside every i think our parents loosen the belt um can you see? too much on us Free right, right. because i do not know if because how pressure they get and how they them parents treat them they decide not to treat we we so i i do not know but when i analyze and i sit down my brother heavy and I said that the boy jumped on uh, people who were like uh, we have who 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 only early forties, mid uh, mid and thirties, uh, who born in the eighties and who born in the seventies. Uh, and it 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 jumped it jumped this summer day and uh, as I close every as I said to you earlier on mothers Buying cutex and accident which I, which color you want, the blue or the pink. Mothers paint on eyelashes. Eyelashes on the children heavy. The the, the going heavy and buying these expensive sneakers. Heavy this these things plain also on the children mind, you know. These things plain also you know, heavy and I said I asked the mothers and them and heavy, let me just say, there is mothers who is trying the best working two job but just sometimes sometimes that child want to be bad sometimes that child don't care what you do sometimes that that child don't make up the man because make up the mind to be the person that person are so every that topic is actually small topic and i can talk talk about it whole day but i hope you understand what i'm saying my brother and you can i use later because i know you you agree with me with something that i say my brother so right. let me thank yeah, you yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. So the lines are open. Um, you can call me 771-1791 or 466-5391. This is on the lines. Caller. Happy duty. Yes, my brother. How are you going? I go okay. Hey, hey. Wait yeah, now. Man. I know this voice. They my partner. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. love me here from you, boy. ICF yeah, give up on talk radio. Happy New Year, man. It's safe to you, brother. How you can have people talking so long later and nonsense and the damn radio, man? <laughs> you don't know one of our program, you're coming to talk along. So I see some connoisseur on the subject. Yeah. You know connoisseur on the subject? Come in and talk and I said, but heavy, I didn't hear what I'm... What do you feel say? You hearing me? Yeah, I hear you. I didn't hear what that am. Um, my partner from South, I think COP or whatever it is called. Yeah, Kunji. I didn't yeah. hear what he said. You didn't hear what he said? Okay. But, but, what, but what you explained, I, I observe, they said 15 schools, the police are now because of violence in the schools. Mm -hmm. And I am sure those 15 schools heavy are government secondary schools. Mm -hmm. Because the, what I saw on television was El Dorado secondary, Digo Martin secondary, some other uh, Southeast Protestant secondary. It's only government Government secondary schools, this kind. You don't see this thing happening in no denominational schools, heavy duty. Yeah, yeah. You don't see that happening at all. And if it's happening, it's few and far between. Is the government secondary schools. Like, and, 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 and this is like, and, and, and the PNM like to boast about, I know you don't want to politicize it, eh? but they like to boast about free secondary education. And this is the level of your free secondary education. Hmm. If you have a prime minister, eh? Who's a PNM prime minister for, for a, a PNM for, for all these years and could come and refer to those children and them and those schools and them as hyenas in African jungle, monsters, saying parents are making monsters and saying my teachers, referring to them as dunky head for his formers. Hmm. Those are the children going to those schools are heavy duty. Yeah. And it's predominantly government secondary schools that you're finding all that violence in. You'll find that in St. Mary's, Fatima, QRC, Naparima, 
a presentation. You don't find that in the Mahasabha school. You don't find it in the Hindu school. You don't find it in the Presbyterian, in the Catholic school. You don't find that nowhere. It's only in the government secondary school. And the PNM build those schools highly from inception to put children through school. Put, not to put them in school, you know. To put them through school and come out and say they're giving people free education. That is the free education they're giving children. And they see like, like cats and dogs, they're fighting in, in the school. They have no respect for teachers and nobody. Eh? And that is the free education they like to come and boast about. Thank you, my brother. All right, thank you, Guru. Nice to hear you, man. Long time I haven't heard you. So, people... We run out of time. Sorry about that. I can't take no more calls because we have some minutes before we go to the, some seconds before we go to the ad break. I know a lot of people want to call. Um, oh, and that's run out. That's my time for today until until next week, Saturday. That's my time. So keep a lock right here at 4 o'clock. We have the live wire coming in with uh, some hot, hot music taking it back in the days. So until next week, I want to say live, love, laugh, and let live. And for every minute you are angry with someone, it's 60 seconds of happiness you can never get back. So be happy, keep smiling, let no one see their joy. Until next week, Saturday, I will be back here on the street, 919 FM. Thank you. The views expressed are not necessarily the views of the management of the street, 919 FM. Saturday, I don't care what they say. Today is Carnival Saturday. Tomorrow is the day before Juve. You could play your own Juve by yourself. If you're worthless enough, you're gonna go in the yard and rub some paint on. If you're feeling worthless tonight, if you're feeling the soca music tonight, I want you to wave your hand and sing everything for me right now. Yeah. Put your hand in the air, rocks in the air. Listen to me. Sing to me. I'm waving away, feeling so light, so light, so light. Sun beating on me, heart is so right, yeah. All right, yeah. All right. And I feel like just when I'm in love, everybody watching you.
From the studio to the stage, every Friday between 3 to 4 p.m., right here on the street, 919 FM, radio you can see. Log on to our Facebook and YouTube so you can see live interviews and performances from some of our very own local superstars. Right here on the street, 919 FM. are invited to join Pastors Morris and Agnes Johnson of the Church of the Firstborn Assembly Miracle Center, located at number 399 Eastern Main Road, Guayco in Sangri Grandi, for the old-time gospel hour all-night prayer. This and every Friday evening on the street 919 FM from 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. Designed with you in mind, this program deals with today's issues from a biblical perspective. You will also be given the opportunity to Call in and interact with us. Micah 6 8 says, He hath showed thee, O man, what is good and what doeth the Lord require of thee, but to justly and to love mercy and walk humbly with thy God. Your financial support through the First Citizens Bank will be greatly appreciated. Account number 795 222. For further information, call 753 1113 or email us at church668hope at gmail.com. Hey, hey. 